Yo, what's going on y'all? It's Steven. We're back at it again today. In case y'all wondering why I didn't post last Saturday, I was actually in the desert with DC The Dawn finishing up his next album called Rebirth. By the time y'all see this video, it will most definitely not be out. But it's probably the most enjoyable time I've had working on music in a really long time. So I'm definitely excited for y'all to hear all the shit that we made. But yeah, I'm back at it today. Before we even get started, I wanna thank you guys for getting me to 4K subs. Last time I checked it was like 4.1 something, but I really appreciate all y'all for showing love on all these videos. I'm glad I can help y'all level up in your beats. So I wanted to repay y'all for missing last week's upload by making a video using your guys' loops. It's probably like 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, I posted on my story, basically just giving y'all an email to send me something to. So I just check right now and I have a fuck ton of submissions. So I'm about to just go through, see what's hitting, see what just fucking sucks. And I'm about to just try to make something. My goal with this is to find like two or three loops from different people and like combine them into one beat. <laughs> Why did my OP1 just start making noises? That was sick though, what the fuck? I'm not clicking no fucking links. Y'all are trying to give me hacks. Hmm. That was... That was crazy. I need one more slight. Absolute. Ooh, okay, DR cold. is fire. I've downloaded six loops, and to be honest, that's probably more than fucking enough. So I'm going to set up my OP1 real quick. All right, so for those who have never been on the channel before, I always make my beats starting with drums. Today I'm gonna start at 120. I've been rocking with 120 recently, and I'm just gonna try and find a little drum groove. Also, I've been having a lot of y'all ask me what I put in my master, 3D limiter, and this preset. I'm really making this be like an Ableton nerd right now. This is crazy. Um, now I'm gonna just basically drag all these fucking samples into here and kind of just find the best bits and pieces. I don't know exactly what vibe I'm going for. I remember liking this first one a lot. If I'm being transparent, this is usually my process. Even when I'm making beats off camera, I'll pretty much just find some drums I like and then I'll kind of just sort through samples for a while until I find something I, I think really matches it. <laughs> I remember liking these vocals out of the sample, so I'm just gonna extract stems using the FL stem splitter and I'm just gonna take the vocals out of it. Oh, I like these vocals too. While I wait for this to extract, you guys aren't ready yet. The first Steven Schaefer executive produced project is coming soon this summer. It's an album for me and my homie Super Duper Kyle. I was just on the phone with him before I started recording and we're basically just almost wrapped up. I'm definitely excited for y'all to just see what it looks like when the artists just completely trust me with their album 
in a, in a whole body of work. So. so yeah, definitely keep an eye out for that. All right, I'm gonna see what I can come up with just from these two. have like a, a different bass line too that comes in when the chords come out. try doing some sort of beat switch i've been super inspired lately working with dc the don and we've been doing hella beat switches trying to see how far we can push certain songs so i want to try some sort of vibe where it kind of goes from like more melodic into just some disgusting that sample's so hard I've been trying this cool thing recently with 808 where I'll come up with the pattern first and I'll put like some weird ass roll in it and then I'll put an effectrix on it and I'll just reverse part of the 808 into the roll. It just sounds insane. <laughs> My fucking camera got too hot, but this shit ended up turning out. Basically, while y'all were gone, I just I put all these drums for my next drum stash, which is actually gonna be a V2 of me and Cryptic's drum kit. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely be sure to. I feel like it's like a producer community gem, especially for this year. The last thing I did was I basically cut the whole beat, as you guys can see here, and I just put this like snare roll. <laughs> That kind of just goes to the next part. This is basically what I came up with. I hope y'all enjoyed watching me make this. I think this came out way crazier than I was definitely expecting it to. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you want to see from me in the future. As always, all the sounds used in this video are going to be in the description. I'm going to have Nathan pop it up. So yeah, shout out to Greedo Santana and Miles Major. And whoever made this unnecessary melody 130, I don't know who did. Y'all gotta start putting your names in the titles, but shout out to y'all. I'm gonna definitely be hitting y'all for more stuff. There's definitely some gems that I found from this email. But anyways, I hope y'all have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you guys are watching. If you guys wanna stay up to date on what I'm doing in my day to day, or if you just wanna get to know me more, I'm gonna have a link to my Instagram too, and I'm gonna have Nathan pop it up here. Nah, pause, bro. I'm out, y'all. I love y'all. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace. Fuck sakes.